Jonathan and I first met um, about a week before my 21st birthday. I remember walking up a flight of stairs um, into this Montreal apartment party and just seeing this massive smile and these huge teeth, just like waiting for me, just beaming at me from the top of the stairs. <laughs> I had no idea that I had just met the love of my life, um, but Jonathan definitely knew. Um, and he uh, proceeded to inundate me with weird memes off of 9gag, that dates me a little bit, um, just for weeks and weeks until I I agreed to go on our first date. All right, hopefully I can keep it together for this one. <laughs> I don't think many people here today would describe me as a fearful person, but I used to worry a lot. I worried I might live a bad life, that as the years pass, I might find myself subsumed by the meanness and cruelty I saw in the world. I worried about our future on a warming planet, plagued by seemingly routine injustices. But this world created you, and out of all the ways things could have played out, it was you that I met on a cold night in Montreal eight years ago. And when I met you, and as I got to know you, my worries faded away. You are the funniest, kindest, strongest, and most well-intentioned person I've ever met. You showed me how to embrace the best parts of life. Kindness, humor, solidarity. And in turn, you've taught me to embrace those aspects of myself. And so, I promise you today, in front of all the people we care about in the world, to love you as you should be loved, <laughs> to care for you, to always be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. You look way better than me. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I love I think something in me could like you know, tell that this one was really serious. I started to get really nervous. You know, it's a big commitment. And how lucky would I have been to like meet the love of my life at some sketchy apartment party? <laughs> what if I can't handle this commitment? What if I hurt him? Like, so eventually I confessed to Jonathan. I told him about my fears. And he said something that I think about all the time. If you wake up tomorrow and you don't love me, we can deal with it. But if you wake up tomorrow and you love me, just live that day. Eight years later, on the day of our wedding, I woke up with so much love in my heart that I think it might burn right through my chest. 
I've woken up every morning for the past eight years feeling so lucky that I get to spend that day with you. You are genuinely the most thoughtful, patient, and kind person I've ever known, and I'm so excited that I get to spend every single day for the rest of my life waking up next to you. I love you more than anything else. I promise to expect nothing more or less than I expect of myself. I promise to always treat you as my equal, as a partner, and as my best friend. I promise to always fight for the kind of world we believed in when we were young, even if that world's impossible. There's so little freedom in the world, but the freedom to love and live joyfully is something that can never be taken from us. I promise to cherry every, cherish every moment of every day that I'm lucky enough to be here with you. And to appreciate that while life can be hard and the world can be cruel, it can also be incredibly beautiful. Thank you for existing and I love you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jonathan, you may now kiss your bride.